Welcome to the JTAC Recap for Friday, February 7th. I'm Josh Harville. And I'm Laura Ryland. First, we have an update on the new stadium construction. I had the opportunity to speak with Vice President of Student Life and Dean of Students, Rusty Jurgens, in his office about the upcoming changes. We have engaged a, a firm uh, by the name of Broadus Planning. It's an architecture engineering firm that has begun to uh, uh, visit with us about what the the, the key elements of this stadium renova renovation project will look like. We're, we're really looking at hopefully starting uh, after the uh, 2015 season. What will happen whenever renovations occur? Will we add some more parking somewhere or will we have to limit access to those to that lot? Well, we're in the process of, of putting together a, a parking plan. We believe that a preliminary draft will be uh, available uh, by, uh, by no later than spring break. So the, the time has come that, that we'll look at uh, some parking structures uh, and other alternatives to parking. What is in the best interest for Tarleton? How do we best meet the needs of, of, uh, of the community while addressing the needs of Tarleton Athletics and, and Tarleton State? And so, uh, you know, I'd like to see a renovated stadium that, that includes uh, facilities that will take us into the next, uh, next century. Interesting stuff, Laura. Thank you. I can't wait to see what it'll look like. Since we're appearing in all of the stories <laughs> this week, I had the amazing opportunity Thursday night to open for Luke Wade at an event sponsored by TAT. We have a few clips from that. to promote his new single, The Runaround, and it was an honor and a lot of fun to open for him. That's a really neat opportunity you had. It was. Did you write all those songs yourself? <laughs> I wrote a couple. <laughs> well, that was a really good job, Thank and you. I guess Luke Wade did pretty good too. <laughs> the service that many students are unaware of that they have access to is Microsoft SkyDrive online service. It is a web-based application much like Google Docs, but the setup is like Microsoft products and includes seven gigabytes of storage on your personal part on your personal part of Microsoft's cloud. The service is registered under the student's go.tarleton.edu gmail account. Stephen Wilson, a manager of the user support services and information technology services, has some further insight and he says, here's the trick. When students go to log on to their email, they won't see this. It's a different website. It's called skydrive.live.com, but it's the same username and password. By logging onto your university provided go.tarleton.edu account, the email account the university provides, it, is, it has a bundle of free web-based versions of Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and OneNote. The web app was built with seven gigabytes of uh, base storage. So the documents that are, where, are there wherever you go and the students can save all their work on SkyDrive for the semester. We now go to JTAC News' Hillary Foreman with the sports. Hillary? Thanks, Laura. 
Over the weekend, the Texan basketball team defeated Texas A&M Commerce 84-71 for a Tarleton record 18th straight victory and moved up to number two in the NCAA Division II national rankings. The Texans also defeated Texas A&M Commerce 74-64. However, on Monday, the Texans fell to Texas Women's University Pioneers 64-59. Texan baseball team and Texas and softball seasons kicked off this past weekend. The Texan baseball team traveled to Houston, Texas at Minute Maid Park. They came up 1-1 one one on their road trip, defeating Winona State 16-3 but falling to Arkansas Tech 3-2. The Texan and softball team traveled to Arkandelphia, Arkansas for the Henderson State Wichita Baptist Classic. The Texans came up 2-1 and one in their classic defeating Wichita Baptist 9-2 and Henderson State 8-2 but fell to Delta State 10-2. The Texas and tennis team defeated the University of Texas at Permian Basin 9-0. On Wednesday night, the Texan and Texans took on rival Midwestern State University. The Texans defeated the Mustangs 78-75 in overtime. However, the Texans weren't so lucky. In a battle fought hard to the finish, the Texans fell to the Mustangs in overtime 77-75. Coming up this weekend, the Texan baseball team takes on Regis University in a four-game series. They play at 1 p.m. and 3.30 p.m. on Saturday the 8th and 11 a.m. and 1.30 p.m. on Sunday the 9th. The Texan softball team also hosts the Texan Invitational at home this weekend. The Texan tennis team takes on St. Edwards University at home Saturday, February 8th at 1.30 p.m. The Texans and Texan basketball team travel to Lawton, Oklahoma to take on Cameron University at 2 p.m. and 4 p.m. Back to you, Josh. Thanks, Hillary. Finally, we have upcoming events. Waffle Wednesday is coming on the 12th at 7.30 to 10 a.m. in the lobby of the Thompson Student Center. So go put some yummy in your tummy, Tarleton. <laughs> also on Wednesday, there will be a volleyball tournament at 5 p.m. in the rec center. Next Friday is Valentine's Day, and Texacon kickoff is at noon. Texacon is Tarleton's anime convention, and this year's guests include illustrator Michael Champion, actors Daryl Gilbo, who has appeared in the film Wind Talkers, as well as the Silent Night, Deadly Nights film series, and has done tremendous amounts of voice acting in many games and movies, including Bleach and Marvel vs. Capcom 3, and Le Lizelle Wilkerson, known for her voice acting in the Tekken and Crazy Taxi series, and a role in the film Lost in Translation, as well as Chris Kaysen, known for his voice acting work in the series such as Dragon Ball Z and Full of Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, among others. Texan Con will continue on Saturday. That's it for this week's JTAC Recap. Don't forget to visit us on the web at jtacnews.com for your most up-to-date news. And like us on Facebook. And the website will be getting a facelift February 10th, the same day as the new issue of JTAC News Print Edition. Make sure you grab your copy. And keep your guns up, Texans. I think that went well. Did you have a good day tonight? Yeah.